Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends and peers from sister associations, I'm Tan Sui Che, the immediate past president of the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries, the IFOA. Many thanks for inviting me to make some opening remarks at this joint regional seminar, GRS 2021. As 2020 began, not even the most prescient amongst us could have pre predicted how world events would unfold during the year and since then. The multifaceted impact of the COVID-19 pandemic has upended many of our lives and impacted the work of actuaries and the industries that we work in. This is a global crisis of epic proportions and we must be committed to working together quickly, meaningfully and thoughtfully. This echoes the theme of GRS 2021, the post-pandemic actuarial world. Actuaries from all practice areas and wider fields have to consider seriously how the profession and the industry can evolve and make a difference and create new thinking in this new world. The science of epidemic handling and response has long been an area of actuarial expertise. Actuaries from all practice areas should carefully consider and analyze the various impacts that COVID-19 has brought upon our work. For example, from the obvious healthcare, mortality and mobility aspects to the more challenging and volatile investment markets, to the non-life insurance industry facing claims of business interruption, travel disruption and legal liability challenges, to risk management practitioners trying to bring it all together in this new world of uncertainty. At the IFOA, we have set up a pandemic hub aiming to provide the most relevant, thoughtful research, articles and insights from the recognized experts on COVID-19. The award-winning IFOA COVID-19 Actuaries Response Group is another great exemplar of how we ensure the voices of actuaries are heard and are committed to provide actual insights and innovation to our members, stakeholders, and to the wider world. Recently, we have also seen how climate-related risks have disrupted our lives, from the severe flooding in Germany and China to the wildfires in Greece, California, and, and Australia. These events should not just shock us. We must also realize we have an important and critical role in bringing insights and in assisting others to mitigate the worst effects of climate change. Actuaries have a duty to put the public interest first. As a profession, I believe we should direct our attention to the society's most pressing problems. We should engage widely and more confidently to respond to challenges that a society and the world are facing at present and in the future. This new world will require new thinking, new mindsets, and a reinvention of the profession. To achieve these goals and missions mentioned above, I believe collaboration is the key. Actuaries and all actual associations around the world should and must work together effectively. That's why I appreciate events like the Joint Regional Seminar, GRS, which is a collaborative effort of the IFOA, the Actuaries Institute of Australia, and the local societies, the Actuaries Institute of Chinese Taipei, the Actual Society of Hong Kong, the Actuaries Society of Malaysia, Vietnamese Insurance Development Institute and the Insurance Association of Vietnam, Society of Actuaries of Indonesia, and Society of Actuaries of Thailand in the region. So in closing, please allow me to say thank you again to our sister associations, the organizing committee, the speakers and all the delegates for your sterling efforts and strong support in this year's conference. I hope you will enjoy the insightful regional presentations today and look forward to the upcoming GRS virtual programs in the rest of the locations. The Vietnam Regional Programs has been successfully held this morning. 
I would also like to wish the upcoming GRS sessions in Jakarta, Sydney, Taipei, Bangkok, Hong Kong, and Kuala Lumpur a great success. Last but not least, I wish all the best to all of you amid this pandemic. Stay well and stay healthy. Thank you for your attention.